Hello everyone, this is Dance Floor, and I'm making a tutorial for orbitals. And I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways to do them and explain them all in detail. I'm going to start by explaining it from a catch link. Now, no one ever explains the timing on this, which I'm going to go over in a second because that's always bothered me. Because I think there, there's a, a really simple way to explain the timing of when to pull. How normal works from a, from a link catch, you're going to be taking your your right poi, which means blue and, blue and red, or blue and green, and uh, you'll be throwing it down and away from you. At the same time, you'll be taking your right poi, your left poi, and throwing it towards you and up. So you're, you're making a circle with it. And now watch watch my right poi for the timing on the, poi, on the pull. All right, you can see what I did there was I waited for the poi to make a complete circle. Now, this is your starting position, and you throw it, and it goes all the way around, and there is where you start to pull. When the right poi has come back up to the top, when you pull, and if you do it right, you should have an orbital. Sorry. like so. And that's a continuance, I'll explain that in a little bit. Uh, Alright, next I'm going to be showing you how to do it from a weave. Um, let's see, to explain this the best, I think, if you know how to do a 5 feet weave, or you know, at least know what it looks like. And it looks like this. Instead of crossing under, you're gonna be you're gonna be leaving your left hand on your right side, but you're going you're not gonna be crossing your right poi under. You're gonna let your poise tangle, and if you catch them while they're tangling, you'll you'll be in a link catch. See? Yeah. If you catch them while they're tangled, they're in a link catch, and then it's the same concept. And this, once again, that's, that's what the link catch then. And you're instead of stopping a link catch, you're just letting them spin. And once again, with the timing, you want to let the poi go all the way around. Sorry about that. Hit my arm. You want to let the poi go all the way around once. And once again, the right poi, blue and green. I pull when it gets to the top. Oh my God! I keep hitting myself. All right, there you go. And once again, I'll explain it in a minute. I'll stop doing them. I'm sorry. That's what it looks like again. All right. Now I'm kind of gonna show you how to do it from a spiral. Um, it's the same. It's pretty much the same thing as doing it from a weave. And if you can do it from a spiral, it'll help you learn how to do it from a weave. It'll make it doing it from a weave a lot easier. And now I can't stress enough that getting the timing on the pulling is the hardest thing. If you pull too fast or you know whatnot, something like this is gonna happen. Where it doesn't go into an orbital, it gets tangled, it screws up, and it doesn't look pretty. Alright, now I'm going to try and explain a continuance to you. It's The timing on it is a lot harder to learn. Um, you need to be able to do orbitals pretty well, and you have to be able to tell when your orbital is going to stop. And this is what it looks like. What you're doing is turning 180 degrees in the direction of the orbital. So if you're doing the orbital in front of you, if you're doing it from a 3B weave, you do it in front of you, you want to turn to your right. Now, the timing, it's, so, it's sort of like, if, if you know when your weave's gonna come out, um, what you're doing, when it, when it starts to get to the point where it's, it's about to slow down, and if you can tell when that's gonna happen, uh, just slightly before it, 
uh, is when you're going to want to shift and turn your body. Okay, I got one last thing to show you. I'm going to show you how to do multiple orbitals. And what it is, is when you're in an orbital, you're going to sort of let go and bring your hands close together and you're gonna, you're gonna catch them. And then you're, you should be in a catch link. And it, it, it takes a little while to get the timing down so when you catch it your strings aren't massively tangled so they are massively tangled it's going to be hard to throw it or nearly impossible depending on how bad it is so once you got the catch link down uh, all you have to do is practice catching it and throwing it and now you can see right here it's not it's hard to tell but it's not a catch link actually my right there my strings are just twisted and i throw it uh you know just throw it like that to get into a catch link but you can still throw an orbital when your strings aren't in a catch link. It's similar, but you have to make sure your strings are going to cross when you throw them. One of my lights went out. What do you know? I hope this was helpful. It's brought to you by 